So in this video, we're going to go over our favourite places in Guernsey, which is, you know, hopefully going to help anyone thinking of visiting, or or even if you live here, give us your um, opinions on it. But we're going to try and help everyone by just maybe giving you a shortcut and not trying all the places which aren't very good, and go straight to the good ones. So we've got, uh, we're going to let you know in this video our favourite restaurants, our favourite hotel, our kiosk, our favourite beach. Uh, walk and place to take the kids and we'll also tell you why we'll also tell you why we think that so Fallon's gonna go through some stuff as well she's gonna help me because um, she's probably got a better memory than me and I tend to forget where the good places are so I hope this helps remember if you're new to the channel it's all about Guernsey uh, if you like this video give it a thumbs up remember subscribe if you want to see more stuff all about Guernsey so let's get into it so Fallon's here to help me. So the first one is um, a restaurant that's our favourite and we think you'd probably like it. I mean, I know it depends on what you'd like, what sort of food, but generally we got we think we, we know probably one or two of the best restaurants in our opinion. So Fallon, yeah. nice to come back. Um, so what what is our favourite restaurant, would you say? Because there's some nice ones in Guernsey. Yeah. And I know it depends on what you like. But where would you recommend some visitors to the island try that they probably won't be disappointed? Well, we've got, I mean, there's loads of nice restaurants over here. We're sport for choice, I think. But one of my favourites is the Rock Garden at the Fur Main. Um, but that's more steaks, so depending if you like steaks. They do a good one, don't they? Yeah, so they do steaks. What else do they do there? They do... Well, it's mainly steaks, isn't it? Yeah, so if you like a steak, the Rock Garden. Yeah. We've actually done a video on that. Um, oh, have I done a video? Oh, we've done a video on staying at the Fur Main, which is the Rock Garden there. Yeah. But as far as restaurant goes, I didn't film it in there. But there is amazing. Their steaks are good, I the Rock Garden. steak lovers, I think it's between... The Rock Garden and Reds in town. So Reds in town is really good as well. And I quite like that one because they've got a cocktail bar upstairs. So you can kind of make like an evening of it and go for a cocktail before upstairs and then go downstairs for your meal. I don't know if they've changed it around slightly. I haven't been in since they refurbed it, but um, that one's a really nice one to do. So yours is Red, which is in St. Peterport. Yeah, in town. In town. And the Fur Main, um, the Rock Garden, the Fur Main Hotel, Valley Hotel. So you can both have like a nice evening there. You can have cocktails in both places, and you don't really have to leave if you don't want to. So that's quite good for like couples. Yeah, they and, are good. They're good places. And groups of people mm. as well. So. Okay. Now I think next one hotel. What's the best hotel? Best hotel. Well, for the one that I we like, I think, is the Fermain Valley. Yeah. I have done a video on the Fermain Valley. Actually, I'll leave a link in the description. We stayed at the Fermain Valley. But I think the reason why as well is because they've got the two nice restaurants. They've got a Mexican called Bujo, or however you pronounce it. And um, they've got the Rock Garden. Yeah, so the Rock yeah. Garden we mentioned before, which is the restaurants, the Rock Garden is at the Fermain, funny enough. Both yeah. places are. And it's just really nice that so they've got the tree houses there, which you've done a video on. Which I've also done a video on. <laughs> <laughs> I'll leave both links. So I'll, I'll do the stay at the Fur Main and I'll do the stay at the um, tree house. If you watched my videos recently, you'd have seen the tree house one. But that's part of all the Fur Main Hotel. But yeah, the Fur Main is lovely. But the hotel is lovely to stay in as well as yeah, not just the tree houses. It depends what you want, but um, you won't be disappointed there. No. Right, next one. Favourite kiosk? Now, what do you mean by kiosk? Just explain to the viewers. Kiosks are just little um, businesses that do um, lots of different foods, sandwiches and everything, like home. There's and they're normally at the top of... Normally homemade the top, cakes and... They're normally at the top of beaches, aren't they? Yeah. So a kiosk, they're, yeah. They're on the beach, basically, or next to a beach. Just at the top of the beach, like a granite building, and they sell ice creams. And I don't know how many we've got altogether. We've got... They're, they're around nearly every... They're not around every beach, but there's loads of them around the island. Mm. And they sell, like, crisp chocolate, um, I don't know, bait, um, like, water stuff for playing the water. They're just, like, a little 
place. So what's the best kiosk? So they also do nice sandwiches and stuff. Yeah. And they do really nice crab sandwiches, a lot of the kiosks. Really nice fresh crab. Like, um, so the local crab, spider crab or shanker. I think it's probably spider crab. Yeah, mostly. you like your crab sandwiches, don't you? So which do you think is the best kiosk and why? I like Surfside Kiosk, which is Port Swarth. Yeah. And the reason being for that is, one, it's close to home. Two, you can sit outside. It's got a really nice little bit where you can sit outside, lots of chairs and tables, because mm. not all the kiosks have got that. And um, it's all like sheltered as well. So even if you've got a bit of a windy day, I find it's not too bad because it's kind of a bit sheltered down there, isn't it? It's really nice. And Port Swarth. Yeah. yeah. And they're friendly down there and food's good, so. Yeah, you'd be amazed how good the food is at the kiosks because you think it's not really that good and they bring out some really good food. Like you say, you sit outside, it's beautiful in the yeah. summer. Um, Port Swarth Kiosk, I call it, but it's actually called Surfside. Yeah. Surfside Kiosk. Great little place. It's closed at the moment because they're, they're all seasonal, aren't they? Mm. They're not open all year round. They're all open just for the summer. Is that right? Yeah. So, um, yeah, you, if you come in the winter, they're not going to be open. No. Um, I, did, um, I did a video on did one, the you? crab sandwiches at Surfside Kiosk, the one we're talking about. And I showed all the kiosk, and I actually filmed, and I think I rated the sandwich out of 10, didn't I? Yeah. I'll leave that in the description as well. How many videos are you going to leave on? I think I'm leaving three videos in the description. You may have already seen them if you watch my channel, but if you haven't, have a look. Okay, next one is our favourite beach. What's the best beach in Guernsey and why? This is a tough one because there's a lot. I would say the one that you'd probably have to visit is Kobo. Kobo. Is I'm place. not going to say it. What am I going to say? Beach. <laughs> I've done a video on Kobo. Leave in the link. Not another one. Well, I have. I've done so many videos. I've pretty much done a video. I know from we're talking about. But it'd be helpful. I'll leave basically a big link and you can check them out. Well, Kobo, I think it's like lots going on there. It wouldn't be for everyone, but then you've got the Rock Mount right there. People like sit outside and have drinks and food. And then you've got, you know, a really nice beach. And at the summer they do the balcony gigs. So it sort of all happens there, really. It's a, it's a good beach. It's on the West Coast. It's it about isn't that big compared to some of them, but I just like no, it. It's, well, most beaches on Guernsey aren't that big. But um, it's on the west coast. It's about five minutes from where we're filming this, Cobo Beach. Oh, and that's where the sun sets. Sun sets. And you get your fish and chips on the beach, so it can't Yeah, you get fish and chips. It's a really a, nice, really popular. I've done a video on that one as well. Don't say any more. People can get sick of hearing that. But I've basically done a video. If you like Guernsey, just look around this channel because I've done a video a lot of places. Um, Kobo, so Kobo Bay. I mean, there's there's loads of nice ones. Though. Yeah. You can't really. It's hard to say, but the Kobo is really nice. But then I suppose if someone wanted dog friendly all year round. Yeah. Then I'm just trying to think. I've lost all the questions. Ladies Bay, is probably. Ladies Bay. I haven't lost the questions, but. Quite nice for. Right. Next one. Where's your favourite walk? Favourite walk. God, these are odd because there's so many. Um, where have we got? Oh, so we've got I'd a really say nice my favourite cliff walk would be from the aquarium yeah. to the fur main. That's a nice one. Yeah, so around the fur main beach. beach there's loads of um, walks around the cliffs. Um, can, fur you, main. can you go up the steps still at aquarium? I don't know because the, the aquarium steps... The cliff had collapsed recently yeah, and it's so. all closed and I haven't been there lately to know. Someone asked me in the comments actually about that. I don't know whether... Um, you have to do a video on that one. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know whether the, the steps are open. But um, yeah, so Fermain Bay, which is lovely. There's like all cliff walks around there. Beautiful. Beautiful. Uh, yeah, really Stunning. Nice. It is. But we can't really do many cliff walks with a little one at the moment, so I'm missing that a little bit. Yeah. Because yeah, she'd be a bit lethal. Right, and places or place to take the kids? Where? Apart from like beaches and stuff, but if the weather's shocking, then... Shocking? Shocking, then 18 Joey's. Right, well, tell, tell, tell everyone what that is. 18 Joey's is like probably the biggest, like, soft play... Yeah. 
on the island, I think. So it's good because it's like on a complex. It's at Oatlands Village. And you which, can, which? Which you've also done a video on. I'm not saying any more. I'm getting his set. Just in case you're interested. You don't have to watch them, but they're there. And um, yeah, so that, I, that's pretty good. Um, where else would you say? For kids, there's Fricke. Fricke for younger ones. Fricke Garden Centre, they've got a soft play. And that's free, that's free for them to play, actually. It's a lot smaller than Oti and Joey's, but you can go in for a coffee mm. and um, have a little bit of sanity while they're playing. Have it. <laughs> <laughs> or not. Go have a break. Yeah. Well, there you go. Hope that helped. If you like the stuff, give it a thumbs up. Remember to subscribe if you want to see more stuff on Guernsey. And... Uh, more of these comments, they go quite well. Hope this has helped. See you again.